more than 80 crore people or 800 million children and women are affected by anemia. Let us see about anemia in today's video. Hi friends, I am Dr. Karamath. This is Scientific Doctor channel. In this channel, a medical topic is explained via short video every week. If you want to see such videos, subscribe to this channel. Also press the bell icon to get instant notifications on new content. This week's discussion is on anemia. What is anemia? Anemia is defined as decrease in the oxygen carrying capacity of the blood. Blood, the primary role is to carry the oxygen from the heart to all the tissues in the body. This is done via the specialized cells called red blood cells which have a pigment called hemoglobin which carries the oxygen. So any decrease in hemoglobin or in the number of red blood cells decrease the capacity of the blood to carry oxygen. This is what is defined as anemia. The normal level of hemoglobin is somewhere between 13 to 15 grams in men and a slightly lower level in females. So any decrease below 11 grams is defined as anemia though the definition may vary between races, the place of residence, sex. Generally anything below 11 is called anemia. So 9 to 11 grams may be considered as mild anemia, 7 to 9 grams as moderate anemia and less than 7 grams as severe anemia. What are the causes of anemia? The causes of anemia can be majorly divided into three. One, blood loss. Two, decreased production of red blood cells. Three, increased destruction of red blood cells. The first cause, blood loss, is very obvious. Whenever there is a blood loss, you have less blood, so you have decreased oxygen carrying capacity. This may occur acutely, like in an accident or trauma. This may occur chronically over a period of time. Like in women, every month they have menstrual cycles. If they have heavy menstrual cycles, if they lost too much of blood and it is not being replaced via food regularly, this may lead to anemia. Similarly, in kids, if they have infestations, worm infestations, specifically hookworm infestation, this may lead to chronic mild blood loss which may lead on to anemia. The second cause is decreased production. So red blood cells require iron, vitamin B12, folic acid and other nutrients for their production. If these nutrients are not available in sufficient quantity or there is a problem in bone marrow where there is production of red blood cells, this may lead to decreased production anemia. Third cause is increased destruction. Red blood cells after completing their lifespan of 90 to 120 days have to be destroyed. The old RBCs are usually destroyed in spleen. If the destruction happens more, if young RBCs are also getting destroyed, then this may lead to a form of anemia called hemolytic anemia. Though these are the three different causes of anemia, the most common cause worldwide is iron deficiency, especially in developing countries nutritional cause of anemia is the commonest cause. What are the symptoms of anemia? Mild anemia totally may not have any symptoms at all. Though this is termed mild anemia, we have to bear in mind, especially in case of iron deficiency, before this mild anemia develops, there is already existing iron deficiency because iron has a storage quantity in liver which can last for around 3 to 4 months. So before this anemia develops, already this storage iron is lost. So a 3 to 4 months storage should be lost before you develop any degree of anemia. Hence iron deficiency may have consequences even before anemia develops because these are not visible, we tend to ignore them. So mild iron deficiency even without anemia can have consequences like poor memory, poor concentration, poor brain development, especially in the kids who have growing brains. So even before development of anemia, you may have problems due to iron deficiency. Once the anemia develops, when it is mild, as I said, it may be totally symptom free or you may have symptoms only on exercise. So at rest, child is totally normal. When they exercise, they may develop tiredness or fatigue. They may be pale to look at. 
as the anemia gets worse you may have more symptoms like excessive fatigue weakness dizziness fainting episodes breathlessness or fast breathing all this can develop if the anemia is very severe you may have symptoms of heart failure like edema that is swelling of the feet and face breathlessness and decrease in urine output the symptoms of anemia are also dependent on the speed in which it develops so a blood loss anemia due to your trauma may have fainting episodes with a, even a mild degree of anemia whereas a nutritional anemia which develops over a period of time may not have symptoms till very late how is anemia diagnosed anemia is diagnosed with the help of clinical examination and blood investigation your hemoglobin is measured rbc number is measured other rbc parameters are measured and to ascertain the cause of anemia you may have to undergo further test how to treat anemia the treatment of anemia will depend upon the cause so for an iron deficiency or other nutritional anemia you replace the nutrient you will get better but in cases of hemolytic anemia specifically you may need blood transfusions you may need bone marrow transplantation or you may need regular drug therapy so depending upon the cause the treatment will vary the commonest cause as i said is iron deficiency for which you may be given oral iron in the form of tablets or syrups if the anemia is severe you may be given injections if it is very severe you may require blood transfusions similarly in case of b12 or folic acid deficiency you may have to be replaced with b12 or folic acid either orally or as an injections more than the treatment of anemia we have to worry about the prevention of anemia statistics especially from india state that under 5 children and women to the tune of around 70 to 80 percent are anemic and most of the causes of anemia especially in developing countries like us is due to nutritional anemia and the commonest nutrient deficiency is iron how to prevent this iron deficiency anemia can only be prevented by having a iron sufficient food intake most of the iron sufficient foods are from animal sources but for vegetarians what are the plant sources which are relatively rich in iron legumes like chickpeas lentils greens like spinach jaggery because this is made in iron vessels dates and other nuts can have a relatively richer quantity of iron and if these are taken in sufficient quantities you may be having enough iron a predominantly carbohydrate based diet especially avoiding these foods can result in a iron deficiency anemia as far as animal source foods are concerned red meat especially organ meat that is like liver has a very rich source of iron these will provide enough iron more importantly since anemia is very prevalent in under 5 population and in women we have to undertake certain precautions under 5 population especially if their food intake is very poor in iron they have to be given iron as prophylaxis that is for prevention of anemia government most often does this like giving iron for 3 months in under 5 children every year and similarly adolescents in school age may be replaced with iron pregnant women and lactating women especially have to take iron as prophylaxis since this iron is not only going to prevent anemia in them and subsequent complications due to that but also serve as a storage form of iron for the unborn fetus the baby gets its iron from the mother so in order to have a healthy baby all pregnant women should also be given iron as prophylaxis or prevention most of the children or women don't take this iron because it is not palatable or has minor side effects but we have to understand the consequences of iron deficiency and have to take this as prevention iron deficiency even without anemia has a profound consequences on development of brain itself hence prevention of this is most important hence we have to realize and start preventing this dreadful disease friends today we have seen about anemia in general and specifically about iron deficiency in particular 
If you like this video, share it among your friends and relatives. To view many more such videos, subscribe to this channel. Till we meet again. Bye.